Hey, how's it going? In this video, I am creating an Instagram DM bot that you can let run on autopilot with some limitations. This is very useful if you send cold DMs and you don't want to pay someone to do it. If you've got a list of Instagram profiles and you need to message them, say you're selling a service or whatever, you can use RoboMotion to do this. So I'm going to go through bit by bit and show you how it's built. It is quite complicated. Um, so if you're brand new, it might be a bit of a learning curve. If you're familiar with RoboMotion, you probably think this is the most simplest thing ever, and um, I'm talking waffle. But anyway, my data is stored in a Google Sheet. In the A column, I've got my Instagram URLs, so you can see here I've got two. B column is just some data about the Instagram profile. This is not needed. When I was scraping Instagram, um, in column B was just a title of the Instagram, but I didn't actually use it. In column C, I've got my message so you can see here you can write anything you want and you can grab this with RoboMotion and then send it to the user so I'm going to send some test messages to myself in RoboMotion you start off with an inject sequence this will fire off everything then I'm setting a few variables and I'm not a coder so hopefully this will be easy for you to understand and I hope I explain it correctly I just kind of kind of you know push stuff together and hope it works really. So I've got a few variables here. I've got message.number equals one, message.row equals a plus the message number. So that will be a1. So that is referencing a1, which is here. And then I've got another function and I'm setting some DM variables. So same again, message.dm number is one and then message.dm equals c plus the number, which is c1. So that is here. And then I'm setting the amount of DMs I'm sending. So it starts off with number one because I would have sent one DM. So that will save that variable as that. And then I'm opening up Google Sheets. You will need to install the Google Sheets package for this to work. And then you need to follow RoboMotion's instructions on how to make it work. Um, I won't go through it now just because it's a bit long-winded. But once you've got that set up, you can plug in your spreadsheet URL and then you can use it throughout your sequence, which is really um, useful. I'm getting the Instagram profile information from this one here. So as you can see here, I'm referencing the cell as a variable instead of just typing in A1. If I just typed in A1, it would only ever get A1 throughout the whole of the sequence. I want this to change that's why I'm setting variables up here. So the cell I'm getting is message.row. And if we go back to here, message.row equals A1, which is this one here. So then I'm getting the DM information. And up here, I set the DM information as message.dm, which was referencing C1, which is this information here. So RoboMotion will open this information. It will save it as a variable over these parameters I've set here. So we'll now have this URL and this message saved in RoboMotion. Then the flow will then go to the browser flow. This is where Instagram will open. And this is quite straightforward. I'm opening up in Chrome. The important part here is I'm saving a custom user data directory. If you create a folder on your desktop and you grab the path and you save it into here, as you can see, you know, users p documents uh, forward slash river motion. When you load the flow up for the first time, you can log in to Instagram and it will save your cookies into the folder, which means every time you rerun this flow, you'll automatically be logged in and you won't have to worry about using river motions faults. It's just a quick workaround. I'm then opening up the profile, but I'm not setting a URL. I'm asking for the URL, which I saved up here. So I am opening up message.account. Message.account is a plus one, which is this one here. So it's going to open up forward slash primarily limited. What I'm doing here is I'm waiting for the DM 
box to load up. If I load up incognito and we'll do Instagram and then we'll do primarily. I'm waiting for this box here to appear. If it does, then great, it moves on with the sequence. If it doesn't, we then skip, but I'll go to that in a minute. So I'm waiting for the DM to appear. And then I set RoboMotion to go to sleep. And I'm putting in these sleeps is a way to look human. So I'm setting up a randomized sleep between 12 seconds and 30 seconds, a bit like human behavior. We never click the same you know, button and box and type things all within the same seconds. So it goes to sleep. And then if the, if the DM has appeared, RoboMotion will click it. And just so you know what's going on here, I'm using the selectors. If we load up um, Instagram again, and we go to, where are we here? If we inspect and we click on message, in here you can copy the X path and the X path is pasted into here. You can see here, this big long bit of code. Um, basically it's just the button you click on and it's just the coded version, which is the X path. So it clicks that information and then it waits for the text area to appear within the DM. So a bit like how it waited for the message button to appear, it's now waiting for the text area. And if we go to Instagram and we'll go to messages, say this profile here, it's waiting for this part here to load up. Then it goes to sleep again for another 12 seconds to 30 seconds. As in like, when you load up a profile, you don't instantly send a message like straight away. That will just look like you've copied and pasted it, which we don't want. We want to look human. So this randomizes the time. Then it's typing a message. It clicks on the selector within the DM here. So if we look at inspect and we go to this part here, and we go to copy and we copy the X path, this information is what gets clicked on. And then it pastes in message.dm. Up here, we set the variables and the variable was message.dm. The profile information was got and then the DM information was got, which will be C1 and it will copy this information and then it will paste it straight into the text box and then it will press enter like you would do on a keyboard. I hope this makes sense and I hopefully I haven't sent you to sleep like this next action here. So then RoboMotion goes to sleep again. I've got a few little kind of fail safes in here. I've got kill switch. So the kill switch is when message.dm amount equals to 25, it will stop the sequence because if you send too many messages within the same hour on Instagram, they will block you, as I have found out. I'm actually gonna reduce this. I need to find the sweet spot. I think between 15 and 20 is the sweet spot that I just need to test. And I was only blocked for like 45 minutes. So the kill switch here is just a kind of a flow. And then if equals true, it goes to the stop and then the whole thing will stop. If not true, it will go to the next profile. This bit is where it gets a little bit more complicated. So it goes to the next profile and then it goes to here, which is the next profile. You can link these two together, you can see here. So I've got the flow and then next profile and it will go to here and then it creates a loop. And the loop encoding is how to loop through something. So if I've got 800 Instagram profiles on here, I'll need to go to A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, until I get to 800. This is what this function does here. So as you can see, the plus one is basically plus one in the number on the variable I set here. So we've got message.number plus equals one. So, ne so sorry, previously it was A1. And what this is doing here is plusing one on to the number I set. So it will now be a two, because if you add one plus one is two, 
if you added the two here, it would then go up in twos. So from this part here, I'm doing exactly the same with the DM number. So it looks like I can't spell, so this might break. But anyway, we then got DM number plus the one. So I'm going to correct that whilst I'm here. This is doing exactly the same with the DMs down the side, as you can see. So we'll start with C1 and it will plus one and it will be C2, C3, C4 and so on. I'm also doing it for the DM amount. So we've got the kill switch here. Every time this loops, it goes around in a circle. Every time it'll start at one and two and three and four. When it hits 25, the sequence will stop and then it will won't start again until I restart it manually or schedule it. And then it goes to sleep. And I've got this sleep here for a long duration, 45 to 60 seconds long. So I am roughly sending one message per every minute and a half. And I think that is slightly still too fast. We've got 12 seconds here, 12 seconds here. This is the minimum and we've got 15 seconds here so what's that 12 12 24 15 so yeah around about one minute well sort of one message per every one and a half to two minutes it may be longer i need to increase that just so it's not too sort of trigger happy and then after it goes to sleep we open up a spreadsheet and it does the same cycle all over again but this time it will get a2 and C2. The next time it loops through, it will get A3 and then C3. And it will keep going and going and going and going until it gets to 24 or 25 and then it will stop. So I'll show you how it works. And I will run the bot. It will fire up. You can see here it's opening up the sheets. It will open the profile. I might need to grab it. It might load up on my other screen. It has done. So this is completely no hands. And what RoboMotion is doing, it's grabbing my cookies. And then you'll see the click on the message in a minute. Bear in mind, it's got a lot of wait time in between. So like 12 seconds. Feel free to fast forward this. There we go. So it's clicked on the message and it's gonna load up my inbox. You can see I've been spamming myself already. And in a minute, it's going to click on the message selector. Here we go. And it's pasted it. And what RoboMotion will do now, I'll just leave this somewhere I can grab it easily. You can see it's now asleep and it will be sleeping for roughly 15 to 60 seconds. And it picks at random time. It will run through the kill switch to see what message number we're on and we'll be on number one, so it will continue working. After this is finished here, it will go to here, it will go to next profile, and it will start all over again, as you can see here. So if we go back to here, it will reload. Where are we? Oh, we're back to sleep. A lot of sleeping in this, but if you want to DM safely, you need to set up these um, kind of sleep periods, otherwise you're just going to get banned. You could have multiple Instagram profiles and run this simultaneously, uh, which could be, you know, useful. Here we go. So it's now reloading the profile. It's laid up the same one, but obviously use a different profile. And then it will go through the same process. And it will click the message. This one might be a bit faster, a bit slower. There we go. Let's click the message. And it will paste in the new message. Probably, I can't remember what the second one was, taste testing or something like that. Yep, so test message. Um, what this will do now, we'll go to sleep again. It will go to the next profile and then it's going to fail because there isn't anything. The only thing that I haven't shown you on here is if DMs are closed, what this is doing here is waiting for the DM box to appear. If it doesn't appear, it's because their profile is on private or they've closed DMs. It will close, I'm sorry, it won't close. It will catch the error here. So this 
package here is um, the trigger and there's a catch. So it will catch the error and then it will just go to the next profile again. But this time it will just, it will skip a line and move down. The only things I haven't built in is like message sent yes, no, as like a kind of a response or something, but you know, it's only me using it for now, but feel free to build this yourself. I know this video is very long and probably quite complicated to understand and hopefully I haven't sent you to sleep, but if our information is useful to you, drop me a follow, subscribe, all of that stuff, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. Um, nice one. Cheers. Chat soon.